After removing the hot pack from the hydroxylator, we are going to wrap it in six to eight layers of towels or three to four hot pack covers. So here we have one hot pack cover, we have three more here, And depending on whether the patient is going to be laying on top of the hot pack or the hot pack being placed on top of the patient, we will then remove or add layers based on our target tissue temperature and the patient's comfort. After five minutes, I'm going to check on the patient's comfort. So how are you feeling there? Good. Okay. I can always remove layers as needed to raise the temperature or add layers to lower the temperature. So you let me know or you can ring the bell at any time. Okay. Could you roll over just a little bit so I can take a look at your skin? It's normal to feel warmth and to see a little bit of redness. And it's also wise to check the tissue temperature. Okay, looks good. Go ahead and lay back. After the 20 minute session, I'll help the patient get up from the table. It's important to assess the tissue. It is normal to see a little bit of pink, redness, some warmth. We are again going to ask the patient, are you feeling okay? Yeah. Okay, feeling good? And we can conclude the treatment. If the patient prefers a prone position, we're going to make sure the patient is again set up in a comfortable position and we likely need to remove some towel layers because now the patient's body weight is not on top of the hot pack. So I'm going to remove a couple of towel layers here. And you are now set up for a prone position with a hot pack. After removing the hot pack from the hydroxylator for the cervical spine, we are going to put it in the hot pack cover. This counts as two layers. And then we are going to wrap it in a couple layers of towels. Because this is just going to be draped over the patient, it does not require as many towels. And we'll be checking to ensure that it is at its therapeutic temperature as we use it on the patient. We'll now apply the hot pack onto the patient. I'm going to drape this over your shoulders. And we can lock it in with this little strap. Ensure that the patient is comfortable or doesn't have any feelings of claustrophobia. Now we can remove towel layers as needed or add towel layers if you find that it's too hot. There's going to be a bell here for you so you can let me know if there's any problems and we'll keep checking on the patient to ensure that the hot pack is at the appropriate temperature. After five minutes, it's important to check on the patient comfort and to adjust the towel layers or hot pack covers to ensure that you're at the right therapeutic temperature. So how are you feeling right now? Good. You're okay? Um, can I, I'm just going to unwrap this and just take a look at your skin. Good. It should be moist and warm. We can always use a surface thermometer to check the temperature. Good. Looks good. Again, you can always let me know if you want to add or remove layers, okay? Okay. After the 20 minute session, we're going to help the patient get back up. So I'm going to remove the bolster here. Good. And I'm going to help you come up here. We're now going to remove the hot pack and double check how his skin looks. It should be a little bit pink or red, warm to the touch. And we always want to check on patient comfort. How are you feeling? Good. Feeling good? Good. 